بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين This is a new Uski case number four Here this is the first question name the procedure The procedure here is skull x-ray and the skull x-ray on the left side view called Downs view, Downs view. And on the right side here, it is lateral skull view. So here, Downs view and lateral skull view. The Downs view, it is a B radiograph of the skull with angulation with angulation toward the feet and toward the feet. And we should see the dorsum cilia within the foramen magnum. If the dorsum cilia seen above the foramen magnum, we should increase the angulation. What are the uses of the town's view? Town's view it is used for evaluation of the skull fractures and in your plastic changes. And here, the lateral view, uh, usually we do it in the children, as we see here. In the children, we do it in the cross lateral shoot through, horizontal shoot through. Uh, what are the radiological findings in this skull X-ray? We here see lytic region in the brighter region, as we see here in the town's view and on the lateral, lateral skull X-ray. And this is the lytic region here. As we see here in the lytic region, as we see, it is called bunched out lesion and also it is a bevel lesion. What is a bevel lesion? A bevel lesion, we see the two, the two edge of the, of the skull, as we see here, the two edge of the skull outer and the inner table are at, not at the same level, as we see in the lateral view and also on the uh, towns of you. You see here one edge, and this is the another edge, and this is called bevel appearance. So this is the radiological finding: lytic region, punched out lytic region, and with bevel appearance or bevel sign. And what are the diagnoses and differential diagnosis? Once we see the bevel appearance, it is highly suggestive of Langerhans histocytosis. And if it is one lesion, it is called isonophilic granuloma. Isonophilic granuloma. So this, the other differential diagnosis, we should uh, include other differential diagnosis, but this is a case, it is typical for the histocytosis. And if it is one lesion, it is, uh, or it is one lesion, it is, uh, uh, isonophilic granuloma, other differential diagnosis, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, plasmacytoma, metastasis, etc. What else we see here in this lateral X-ray? We see here the air column and we have large adenoid gland enlargement. This is not, uh, it is incidental finding. Uh, what is the next step for this patient? The next step, for this patient and recommendation, what are the, what is the next step? We should do the 
skeletal survey for this patient. Why? We want to see if it is single lesion. As we said, it is histocytosis. Uh, it is is an aphylic granuloma, or if it is multiple lesions. And with the uh, with the with the skeletal survey, we see the lesions in other bones, and we start our treatment according to this multiple lesions. The the histocytosis, as we see, as we said, it is three types. The most common, if it is single lesion, it is uh, is an ophelic granuloma, and it is monostatic type, and it is the most common, and it is about 90% of patient. Multi can be also multiple bone lesion, polystatic, and it is less common and present in about 10%. Hans Scheller Christian disease, it is characterized by classic, a triad, exophthalmos, diabetes, insipidus, and osteolytic region of the skull. Later, seri disease is characterized by lymphadenopathy, skin rash, hepato, splenomegaly, and band cytopenia. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka.